it's the same thing, except the difference is that the hardcore kids can remember the show. Like, I met so many people in the mid-70s who said they saw Hendrix, and none of them could remember him. They had a great time. They couldn't remember the show. I actually was a person who was like, I want to remember seeing the Bad Brains. And I do. I fucking remember seeing the first time I saw the Bad Brains. Mind-blowing. But the experience I had at that Bad Brains show, I can't imagine. I don't believe for a second that it was any less visceral or emotional or impactful than anybody who saw any other band in the history of the world, no matter what substance they were on. Like people say, like, wow, the straight edge lifestyle, whatever. First off, just to be clear, I was never straight edge. I was straight. The song was called Straight Edge. It was just a song that Myron Thread did, one of 26 songs, but it was a pragmatic approach to getting shit done. There's no question in my mind that there's a practical component to this, which is, we were teenagers. So if I'm writing a song and there's teenage kids who are influenced by me and are like, whoa, I want to be like him. Well, I'm glad I wrote that song and not, you know, heroin. Because the people who wrote, I can't imagine the people who wrote song like, like Lou Reed got a lot to answer for in some ways, right? Keep the cops bored. That's what I say. Keep the fucking cops bored. So if you're having a party at your house and there's bands playing, don't blow it by having a keg on the front yard with 16-year-olds passed out next to it. They want to drink. They have to go elsewhere. That's my thing. Like this, we wanted the, we needed a venue. We wanted to play music. We needed a place to play it. So we were interested in, it was a practical, pragmatic concept. Keep the cops bored. Don't give them something to do. They bust in. You're like, none of us are drinking. None of us are using drugs. So for me, like I'm interested in getting shit done. So it was like, it's practical. And like, that was it. Like a lot of the labels and bands that like lost track of their shit were partying. Bands that went on tour and lost, couldn't afford it anymore. It's because they spent money partying. It's like, it's just like, a, it's like a practical component. And...